All right, last time for these heads. Are there any heads in there? <laughs> it's weird, it almost looks like. Ready? Yeah. Oh, they are milky. Okay, pull this one up. Yep. Oh, those are solid muck. Look at that crap that's in there. Is the water helping or hurting this? <laughs> I don't care what they say. It needs to be hosed off and they're just stinking dirty. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Probably get open the door to hose them. Easy. A five gallon bucket just to dip them in. Yeah, yeah look at the amount of crap on those things. So we go get some where, water. This is where they talk about that sweep on the top would probably be good after it's this dirty. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's bad. Well, honestly, there's nothing to worry about because we're gonna have to we're gonna have to blast these heads, right? Yeah. These heads are gonna get blasted, and then we'll do this again. We'll just blow them off and wipe them. Get all the stuff out of the rocker box. Yeah. Yeah, go on and blow them off. Piss the neighbors off some more. You gonna blow them off? Yeah. I mean, they're, they're almost already dry. Already, just like that fast. Blow them a little bit. Still, yeah. Alright, we'll <clears throat> right, here's the end result. They look really nasty, but they're actually super clean. <laughs> but they're real nasty because that stuff is so nasty inside that container for being clean now. It leaves a layer on everything. It's just a layer of dirt on everything. But all that dirt came from down inside the motor. The rocker arms are getting pretty clean. They're not full of rust like they were. So look down inside down the bags. Look at that, it's how nice those are cleaned all the way deep down in there. Those things are just always just You can covered, see You covered. can see the metal kind of glistening back at you now. Yeah, I'm sure you this one. I mean, that's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, uh... Where are they pretty... <laughs> oh, that came back on. Yeah, there's a... Like I said, they're really filthy, but they're really clean. Because all the heavy, heavy, heavy stuff is off. I think when we go to build these, we'll, we'll uh, blast them. And then soak them again. Yeah. And I think we'll have some really clean heads. And some clean stuff, because they're clean all the way down deep into all the fins. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to leave a rust inhibitor on it as Still well. Still got carbon and exhaust ports on the valves, but we're not concerned about that. <clears throat> that's a, that's Still pretty got carbon cool. in there, but that come out blaster. We scraped the combustion chamber, that's why it's clean, otherwise it'd have carbon in there too. But the biggest thing is getting all that baked on crud out of between the fins. I've never been able to get that clean before. It's a lot of work, but damn. Look at those things are deep. I mean, it is deep. I don't know if you can see how deep those things are down in there, but they are deep. And they're clean right to the bottom. <clears throat> now you come in there and blast that out. Bare metal. Then you put that heat dissipate coating on that thing, and that thing will cool twice as good as it ever did stock. And the nice thing about that dissipate is it doesn't stick. It's very, nothing sticks to it. You talking about tech line or something? Yeah. Yeah. That stuff you put on your motor. Oh, it's getting tech line for sure. <clears throat> yeah. But this is just a clear coat. You put the heat dissipant on it, it actually sucks the heat out. It runs cooler than not having That's what it. I got here. And then you have, around here. and then this stuff is nice and slick, so nothing really sticks to it. It's still going to bed down in between the fins right. if you don't keep the stuff clean, but... You have half a chance of getting out. It will eventually pack in there again mm -hmm. if you if you don't clean it. The trick is to seal these things up so they're not smoking oily all the time. That's a miracle 
to make that happen, but... I mean, you know, once that stuff fills up, those things aren't cooling like they're supposed to either. Yeah, they don't you know? cool at all. Yeah, they're just, no matter anything, they'd start holding heat. Yeah, the problem is now this cool, this stuff is so dirty. We need we need that filter. So he said to go through some kind of a coffee filter thing. Yeah. yeah. So is that something we can pick up uh, to do, and then we can do your cases? Because right now those cases get dirty when we put them in, I think. Or we have to hose them off right after we pull them out. If you want. We're hot, right? I don't want to crack either. It ain't going to crack. It's only 150 degrees.